Okay, so now that we're back in opening up, I'm going to show you how we can include the SQL based report that we did through the designer before into the open ERP system. So if I go down to customization as we've done in the past, low level objects, actions, Pentaho reports, and here I can create a new action. I'm going to call this contact list report. Now, we want this to appear on a menu, so the name we give it here is the name that it will receive when it is shown on the menu. Uh, we again are linked to res.partner of the partner file. Service name is our internal identifier for the action. Contact list, and I'm going to call it with because this is our contact list that goes via with it. Obviously, that only means something to us when we set the action up or if we have to modify the action. But overall, it can be any service name that we like there. Um, as before, we need to select what PRPT file is going to be used here and now the critical thing here is which linked menu item. Now I'll search for a menu. I want it to go in uh, sales uh, under the sales menu And really, I wanted to go in sales at Chris Book. So this is going to be linked to the sales address book and appear under there. So I'll save that there. And now I will need to reload this. And after refreshing. We can now click on our contact list report here, which will come up with a very basic wizard that's been generated on the fly according to our PRPT parameters. Um, the clever thing here would have been to give uh, viable or useful default values, even if it was blank to Z, so you don't need to put them in. But just to prove a point here, I'm going to include all of them, all customers, all countries. As we said, not specifying a country, we'll select them all. If I print that and I keep that and we now just reduce it so we can see it on our screen here three pages with everyone included in there. Alternatively we can now run this and say no we don't want to include suppliers, we only want to include customers and we only want, want to include the customers that are in Belgium. I do need I did make those two values mandatory, so let's try that again. There we go. If I keep that, I now get number two, which is a list that's less than a page long, which is our Belgian customers. Also worth pointing out here, under the settings, that is the fact that uh, we can change our default format. So we could say that the default format is going to be CSV, 
And the other thing that we can point out here is the groups. We can add security groups which, like all actions, will be respected and decide who can and can't run the report. As we said when we designed this report, the open ERP security will not at all be uh, checked or examined when the report is being run because this SQL based query will get the data directly from the database. So if I save that, this is CSV output format and I go back and I run that now. Run that. The default now is CSV <coughs> but uh, let's say we don't want it to be CSV, we just want it to come out in text in this case. And we don't want Agrolay to bonk and only the suppliers with the country blank. I print that now, I get a .txt file. which opens in not a terribly good looking format, but it is a .txt file. 